Hey guys, in this episode, I'm going to talk about policy based authorization in your Blazor server apps. Let's try to understand the advantages of these policy based authorization. So, in our last episode, we discussed role based authorizations where you store roles in the database and when user logs in into the system, you pull those roles from the database and then assign these roles to identity user on your Blazor server app so that you can decide which components that you want to show on the page depending on the user who's logged in into the system. But suppose this authorization is more complex. These users have same roles, but then again, you want to do more complex validation. You want to go one step deeper. Let's talk about this scenario where we have two users, one is Paul, other is Will. And both of them are publishers, but the problem is I would like to give access to Philip because he has been employed before 1990, where Paul is publisher, but he has been employed after 1990 because his hire date is 1993. In this case, policy-based authorizations are awesome. The reason is because you create these policies on your startup page and you check if the policy matches when the user logs in, logs in uh, logs in into system and then you use that policy across your application and if the policy validates if the policy is true for the user who is logged in then you can show those components on your pages or not instead of writing this logic in all each page you could just like write this logic on the login where you you know assign the policy if it's true or not and use that policy across your application let's look at our demo so we have two users like Paul, who is a publisher, and we have uh, another user, Philip Kramer, who is also a publisher. The problem is Paul, he has been hired after 1990 and Philip, he has been hired before 1990. So he should be able to see the edit and delete link and Paul should not be able to see this edit and delete links on the author's, author's page even if it's publisher. So Philip, if I go to this page, you can see that he's able to see the links and even Paul can see these links. So I would like to create a policy where Paul won't be able to see these links because he has been hired after 1990. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do is I'm gonna go to my startup, uh, startup page and here I'm gonna say uh, services Services, I would like to add uh, authorization. Add authorization. Add authorization where I would like to add some options here. Options. And these options will let me add policy. So I'm going to say options. We would like to add, we would like to add policy. And there are two things here. First thing is name of the policy and the claim that you're assigning to the policy. So the name of the policy, I'm gonna say it is senior, senior employee. So I will use this policy across my application to uh, tell that if you are a senior employee, then only you will be able to see particular component on my application. Okay, so this senior employee, what is the claim that the senior employee needs? So to do that, I'm gonna say policy, policy. Uh, this senior employee needs, uh, requires a claim. And this is the second part where we'll have to define a claim for your, uh, your user who's trying to log in into the system. So for this senior employee, uh, we would like to check if the user, if the employee, if the user has been employed for more before 1990. So I'm gonna say, uh, is user employed before uh, 1990, 1990. And so when we assign this claim, when we assign this claim, uh, to the user who logs in, uh, we will check if uh, this validation is true or not. We'll have to write, we'll have to write a function which will take 
user and we'll check if um, if the user has been employed before 1990 and if it's true then only uh, the senior employee uh, policy has been satisfied and then you can use that policy across your application okay so let's go back to uh, we are we're done with the part at the start of where we created the policy senior employee which requires a claim is user employed before 1990 and that policy that claim should be set to true whenever user who's logging in uh, has been employed before 1990 okay so i'm going to go back to my login component where um, i'm logging into the system and then um, uh, i'm using this mark as authenticated authenticated function to assign the claims identity uh, i will go to my claims identity which returns uh, which returns claims identity depending on the user who's logging in and you can see that in our last episode we added roles so that you know um, our user identity knows um, identity user knows like which role this which role has been assigned to the uh, user who is logged in into the system so same thing we'll have to do here we'll have to add a claim we'll have to add a claim saying that uh, the name of the claim the name of the claim should be same is user employed before 1990 is user before 1990 and depending on which user is logged in in this case this is the user who is logging into the system right so here i would like to call my function my function which uh, which checks is user employed for 1990 which checks the user and checks if the higher date is less than 1990 then it returns true and if it's more than 1990 then it returns false so we'll this is what we do we'll call this function we'll call this function and say we'll pass the user who's trying to log in into the system sweet so this is all you have to do so we we created the policy and then we created the policy and we told that this uh this policy requires a claim of name this and it should be true it should be true for the user who's logging into the system okay so now we you know checked if uh, if the user is actually employed before 1990 or not when the user logs in let's go and assign this policy to our authors page so in author page we checked you know the roles should be publisher we would like to also check uh, the uh, the policy of the user who's logging in should satisfy senior employee senior employee and then only we should be able to see this links uh, see the links to edit and delete authors from from the system sweet so this is all you have to do let's run this and see if uh, if this works or not okay so if i'm gonna go log uh, log out and Paul is, uh, you know, he's a publisher, but he has not been hired before 1990. So if I log in, he's a publisher. But if I go to author's page, you can see that he's not able to see these links. And if I log out, and if I log back in with Philip Kramer, who has been employed in 1989, and if I go to author's page, you can see that he is able to see these links. And same that you can do with the publisher page too. So if I if i uh, so currently uh, uh the person who's logged in is philip and he can see the whole page right uh and so my other user can pop so if i go even paul logs in you can see publisher page so i would like to put that policy uh, policy for the whole page too to do that we'll do the same thing that we did in our last episode we go to our publisher component and here we say that We'll say the same thing. Policy should be senior employee. In order, if you want to, you you need to be publisher, and you need to satisfy senior employee policy in order to see this whole component, this whole page. Let's run this and see if this works. So if I'm gonna log out and log back in, but Paul is a publisher but he has not been hired before 1990 so if i go to publisher page you can see that he's not authorized to see this page whereas 
if I log back in with Philip Kramer, go to publisher, he should be able to see the links. He should be able to see the page and the links on my author's page. So this is how you can use policy authorization to handle complex logic on your UI side, on your client side, to show some of the components that you want to show. And you can hide some of the components that you want to hide, depending on the policy has been satisfied or not. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me on Twitter or Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.